Hi, I'm Omni Sunday. This video marks the end of a trilogy that inspired the beginning of my channel. I've made the first forms of these starters almost half a year ago, and I've been perfecting the final forms ever since. You don't have to watch those videos to understand this one, though. I'll do a bit of a recap. In Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, Getsus beats the player character and begins an empire. He drives fairy types into extinction, and dragons rule the ecosystem. The name of the region is changed from Unova to Appaloosa. Seventy years later, you are born in a small town called Lacanosa, and when you turn 10, you can pick from three starters. What are these starters? Snivy, Tapage, and Oshawa, of course. They look different, though, and they're dragon types. Snivy is a cool, calm, dragon-type Pokemon with the ability Overgrowth. Although it isn't a grass-type, it seems to learn lots of grass-type moves. Tepic is a shy and quiet dragon-type Pokemon with the ability Blaze. Similar to Snivy, it isn't a fire-type, but learns lots of fire-type moves. Oshawa is a low-energy dragon-type Pokemon with the ability Torrent. You guessed it, it's not a water-type, but it learns lots of water-type moves. Let's say you pick Snivy. It evolves into Servine at level 30, gaining the ice type. Servine now has the ability Levitate and a fierce personality. They fly in with blizzards and increase their power to freeze dry prey. As soon as Snivy evolves, it learns Kurum's signature move Glaciate. Servine will be quite powerful, especially with its hidden ability Contrary, allowing it to gain power from Draco Meteor and Leaf Storm. I like the idea of really late evolution for these Pokemon, since it'll evolve to be so powerful. Servine will evolve at level 60, bringing its base stats to a total of 600. Drawing superior, I tried to give it a fierce look and a powerful crown of ice. Opelousid's superior is a dragon ice type Pokemon with the ability Levitate, and hidden ability Contrary. Basically has all of Kyurem's moves plus all of superior's moves. This guy would be very powerful in competitive play if it weren't for all the other super powered Pokemon in Opelousid. Superior is an extremely proud Pokemon. They are rarely seen in the wild, and very spread out. If one wild superior sees another, they will fight to the death, as they are incapable of submitting or seeming weak. Because of this, they are very reliable allies, and it is not recommended to get on its bad side. The idea for this design, other than the combination with Kirim, was that the original superior moves on its body, and it has no legs. So to contrast, Opelousa's superior's body floats, and it has four legs. It has yellow highlights like Kirim along with black and white. I hope you think this Pokemon looks as cool as I think it does. Okay, so let's say you pick Tepig. It evolves into Pignite at level 30, gaining the fire type. Pignite now has the ability Intimidate, and has become more bold. So bold that it will refuse to obey weaker trainers, though it's kind of a status symbol for strong ones. This very intelligent Pokemon would rather chase its prey and get a workout than just cook them from a distance. Opelousid Pignite learns Blue Flare, which will now work off the user's higher attacking stat. This means that even though Reshiram's Blue Flare is a special attack, Pignite's will be physical. I figure this makes sense so it can be useful. Pignite will evolve at level 60, bringing its physical attack stat to a terrifying base 150. Drawing Embor was tough, you can see it took a few attempts. Unfortunately, my third and final attempt was later, and I totally forgot to record it. The snout was really hard to get right, and for some reason I kept forgetting about the fourth leg in the back. Here's the evolution. <laughs> Opelousid Embor is a dragon fire type Pokemon with the ability Intimidate and hidden ability Reckless. It has most of Reshiram and Embor's moves along with Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Trailblaze, and Slap Off, because I feel like those fit thematically. This is one of the strongest Pokemon I've made, but after seeing Generation 9, maybe it's not so bad. Embor has grown to be very respectful of all, regardless of their strength. It is often gifted to schools by those powerful enough to raise it, and that will protect children from the strongest of foes. It is difficult not to respect someone who has earned the trust of an Embor. The idea for this design, other than the combination with Reshiram, was that Tepig should have stayed quadrupedal, and that helps contrast it with its original forms. It has scarlet and yellow highlights, and the darker colors of Tebe and Pignite have become a pale orange. This is my favorite Pokemon I've made, and I'm pretty proud of the design. I hope y'all like it too. Finally, let's say you pick Oshawa. It evolves into Dua at level 30, gaining the electric typing. Duat now has the ability Electric Surge, making it really powerful. 
Duet tries to look cool, but his short temper gets in the way. It will use special attacks, keeping its hands behind its back, but if it takes any damage, it will lose its cool and go all out. Duet now learns Bold Strike, which will work the same way as Blue Flare. Duet will evolve at level 60, bringing its special attack stat to a magnificent base 150. I had an idea to make Samurai pose from the back, because it was hard to make his tail visible otherwise. I think he looks pretty cool. Opalucid Samurai is a Dragon Electro-type Pokemon with the ability Electric Surge and Hidden Ability Berserk. It pretty much has the move pool of Zekrom and Samurai combined. I made this before we knew what Maridon was, and unfortunately Maridon outcosts his form of Samurai in every way. Luckily Maridon isn't an Opalucid, so Samurai can rest easy knowing it isn't completely outclassed and his bolt strikes hit extremely hard, especially under electric terrain. Samurai has perfected its combat and honed its emotion. Anger will only make it fight better and Samurai will use its wisdom to decide when it should hold back its immense power. Just by existing, Samurai has earned the respect of any wise life form around him. As you might have guessed by now, the idea for this design was a combination of Zekrom and Samurai, and the idea that Duat should have stayed bipedal. It has red and yellow highlights, and the lighter colors of Oshawa and Duat are now as dark as the night sky. Again, I hope you all like this design as much as I do. So that's about it. I worked a lot harder on this video than usual, and I should probably be doing homework right now. I hope the differences in designs weren't too drastic from the originals and that it was a clear flow. Obviously, I know that original forms don't usually change base stat totally, but I think these forms deserve some bending of the rules. I'm also going to do some more rule bending like this with some other opalucid forms, and I hope it doesn't bother you too much, I'm just having fun. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.